Hello everyone, this is Deepak Bari. I want to welcome you to in this tutorial. Uh, today's topic is to create a trunk port on Cisco Catalyst switches. While a trunk port is required to pass VLAN information between switches. And now let's create a trunk port practical using Cisco Packet Tracer software. Okay guys, just open the Cisco Packet Tracer software and follow these steps. The first step is for taking some of the switches and some of the PCs. And after that we will make some of the VLANs in our scenario. Because our trunk port is required when we need to pass VLAN across and the, between the switches. So just take some of the switches. In my case I am using this 2950T series switch. For this quick example only, I am just taking only the two switches here and I am taking some of the end devices. Just drag and drop these devices. So in the switch one side there is three devices and the switch two sides is the four devices there. Okay, let me draw some of the rectangles and the squares to understand the things clearly. I am going to pause my video and will resume after completing these drawings and assigning all the labels. After that I will resume again. Ok guys I have finished my drawings and I have labeled all the IP addresses for each devices. So now we need to just cable this network. Just Ok for, for this now select this copper straight through. Sorry. Select this copper crossover for making the connection between switches and then after select the copper straight through. You can use here the multiple selection by holding down the control key and you could choose any one of the devices and any one of the cables. Just hold down the control key and just select the icon you could use the multiple selection. It is very handy and as you can see I am not selecting again and again any kind of interfaces because I have already used the multiple selection it's a very handy so you could use that just hold on the control key and and the remaining is last one okay so the cabling is also already completed and now we need to configure within the switch and after that we need to assign the IP addresses across all devices so we can configure the IP addresses to all devices right now so just go to the desktop and follow my steps And this is the last one, the 10.7. 
because the IP address 192.168.10.7 and the default subnet mask of the class C IP address that is 255.255.255.0 for getting the difference between our the configuration and between without configuration within the switch let's have a ping check so just select this message icon this is the simple PDU you can use as a ping check and now just ping to your devices that is getting the successful message that means it pings so successfully all the devices can ping to each other but we don't need any kind of functionality there because we already have VLANs in our scenario as you can see the VLAN 10 which is corresponds to sales VLAN 20 which is belongs to the accounts department and this VLAN 20 is also exist within the VLAN 20 here within this switch if you notice between the connection of the switches there is a cable and the cable is looking something different it is a dotted cable because it's not the simple cable as it copper straight through and it's something different and the reason behind something is different and this switch is connected through a copper cross cable and the interface is gigabit ethernet 0 by 1 and here also the gigabit ethernet 0 by 1 you could use any one of them just like fast ethernet or anything else it's not necessary to use gigabit ethernet okay so let's now configure within the switch first of all we need to configure the VLAN in our switches so just go to your serial tab and if you don't know about the VLAN so I've already made a video about only on the VLAN so you can go through it just go to the below description or just click on this icon to get access to the video of my VLAN now let's configure the VLAN In our scenario there is only the two VLAN so we need to make only the two VLAN that is the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 the so VLAN 10 which name is sales I exit from here and give this VLAN 20 which name has accounts I exit from here and we need to assign all the and we need to assign these VLANs to each of, of the ports so just select the correspond ports interface first ethernet 0 slash 1 and now give the following command switch port axis VLAN 10 and this is important switch port mode access now exit from here now select another interface that is the first ethernet 0 slash 2 and give this command switch port access VLAN 10 And then after switch mode, mode access, then exit from here and again select the another interface that is the first Ethernet 0 by 3 by using this command interface first Ethernet 0 slash 3 switch port access VLAN and here this is the case of VLAN 20 so just give the VLAN sorry VLAN 20 instead of VLAN 10 ok and after that give this command now exit from here here also and for making some changes and saving the changes of your configuration file 
to your nvram just write down this command copy running config to startup config so after losing the power of this switch so the configuration will be saved within your nvram and you will get the configuration after the device power startup and now within this switch we need to configure so just follow this commands configure terminal sorry okay let me explain again what's going on actually as i have told about the scenario of the slab we have multiple vlans along with the multiple switches and devices so in the second switch there is vlan 20 for the accounts department and the vlan 10 which is for the sales department so just create the vlan 10 and give its name the sales Next it from here and give the vlan 20 and give its name the accounts now exit from here and then after each ports will assign to their corresponds vlan so we need to assign the vlans manually here also so just select the interface here in the case of interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 fast ethernet 0 slash 1 which is corresponds to the accounts department and the VLAN number is 20 so just keep the switch port access VLAN 20 and after then switch out mode access then after exit from here and after that give the another port Assign the VLAN by using this command again. Now exit from here. Then select the another interface also. And this is the last one. Finally get this command and exit from here. After that save this. Save your running configuration file to your startup configuration file. Don't forget to this step it's very important to saving your configuration into the nvram and then after we will check the ping test again so first do, let me delete these messages first okay so that's the ping check within this vlan 10 and vlan 20 so as we required the ping should be failed in their status because we are logically grouped our network as per the vlan feature now we need to ping to their each devices within this vlan and as we expect it should be successful within their group but what about if we ping to another switches vlan we are getting an unexpected message from from the ping result that is the failed Now let's check again the ping test. Okay, it's failed here, but within this switch, this VLAN works correctly. So that's why this problem happens because of switch only breaks the collision domains, not the broadcast domains, and the VLAN, as per our scenario, it works within a single broadcast domain and it groups a logical network within a single broadcast domain. That means within a single domain or single network so that's why we need to create a trunk port for accessing this VLAN for that reason we are using the trunk port for 
passing the wheel and information between the switches that's why we are using the trunk port so we need to configure a trunk port manually within the switches to the configuration now let's start the configuration just open your switch CLI mode and follow these following commands enable configure terminal In our case, between the two switches, there is a crossover cable, which is the gigabit Ethernet interfaces with the switches. And we need to just make a configuration within this switch to access this VLAN. Now let's configure. Now just select this interface gigabit Ethernet because we, we need to configure within this gigabit Ethernet. Now just give this command switch port mode trunk. Now exit from here. Here also and finally copy running config to startup config. Same configuration will guess there in within the switch one also. switch port mode trunk then exit from here here also copy running config to the startup config then exit here also we don't need anything now let's do a ping again As we expect the VLAN is accessed this VLAN. Now let's check to another one. It should be failed. Okay. Now let's check with the VLAN 10. VLAN information is shared between the switches by using this trunk port. Great. As we expect, it, it's getting the failed message because it's not the VLAN 10 because it's a VLAN 20. That's why it's getting the failed message. So guys, by using the trunk port, we can use the multiple VLANs or within the multiple switches and we can use the multiple VLANs and we can access the multiple VLANs also through the multiple switches by using the trunk port. Hope you guys understand about the trunk port and, and the uses behind its creation. If you guys have still any kind of questions so you can write down below the comment box and thanks for watching this video guys and see you on the next video.